As I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. Mr. Lawson, thank you so much for coming on short notice. We've tried to go through the Catholic Church, but they demanded payment that we just couldn't Please, afford and- just call me Lee. Mr. Lawson is my father. Sorry, it's just we desperately need your help. Well, that's exactly why I'm here. You see, it's our daughter. We moved into this house a few months ago, and at first everything was normal. We thought we were settling in fine when we heard our daughter talking to someone. We thought it was odd, because we never saw anybody. Did she happen to say who she was talking to? I think she said their name was Hannah or something. At first we thought she was just struggling with the move, but she mentioned having nightmares, waking up with scratches and bruises on her arms. It wasn't until she stopped acting like herself that we thought something else was at work here. Can you tell me what exactly she was doing? She was staring off into space a lot. She was talking to herself in a voice that seemed as if it almost wasn't hers. Worst of all, the self-harm. We thought it was just suicide attempts, but as of last week, she... She what, me? Carved a pentagram above her eye. Do you think you can help us? Well, I believe what you're dealing with is something demonic. Something inhuman. If things are as bad as I think they are, I may have to do an exorcism. An exorcism? Can that be dangerous? Yes, it can for the victim, and everyone else in the room. Just please keep in mind, I'm not authorized to perform. I don't think we have much of a choice. Then I'll get started, right away. Mr. Lawson. That's my father. That's right. He's an actual priest. Which makes me wonder what exactly are you doing here? Speaking of which, how are your parents doing? That is none of your concern. You forget, Lee. As long as you're in this room, I'm inside of your head. I have access to everything that crosses your mind. Every thought, every memory, Every desire and fantasy! Say what you will, demon, but you will not get a rise out of me. Is it because of what happened with the church? No, that's too convenient of an excuse. Truth is, they couldn't bear to accept you as their son. Not after they found out about your lover. <laughs> Go ahead, Lee Lawson. What are you gonna do, shoot a 13-year-old girl? Do it. Then you'll be rid of me. He has turned his back on you. Why else would he let all these bad things happen to you? You can whisper your lies and weave your deceit in my head. But I will let you torment me no longer. You are not welcome here, and I demand you to give me your name. Fine. You can have it carved on your flesh! <laughs> In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as the wicked perish in the presence of God, I condemn thee to hell! Put her down now! He's in danger. He's feeding off of her food. The demon is hurting her. I'm doing my best. 
moving. Mom? Adeline! Ma'am, wait, no! Please be careful. Yeah, it's this awful. very well could be a trick. Deidre, hi. Hello, Nora. Just wanted to make sure my gift found its way to you all right. Oh, the flowers. Yes, they look great in the kitchen. Thank you. But you really didn't have to do that. We've had our time to grieve. I know it's not easy, losing a family member, especially a spouse. Dayton was such a positive member of the community, and we all just want to make sure you and Damon are taken care of. How is Damon holding up anyway? I think he's just been trying to distract himself with projects. I would even say he's handling it better than me. <laughs> projects? What sort of project does an eight-year-old have? He's had a fascination with electronics lately. Actually, he's gotten pretty good at fixing them up. Such a smart boy. I best be on my way, though. Oh, Vinny wanted to drop off another meal for you later today. Expect him in a few hours. You and this town are too good for me. I'm starting to feel like such a bird and I might have to start having the community dinners that Dayton hosted again. No burden at all. We're happy to help. Just let me know if you need anything else. Will do. Bye, Deidre. Who was that, Mom? Oh, that was just the flower girl, Deidre, checking in on us. What did you buy with the cups I gave you on? Uh, a teddy bear? A teddy bear? I thought you were too old for those. I am, but... It just reminded me of when Dad would call me his little bear. I'm sorry, son. Everything's gonna be okay. Yeah. I'm gonna go work on my radio some more. Don't forget dinner's in a few hours! Damon, were you down here just now? No. Why? No reason. Don't worry about it. Ah, <sighs> that must be Vinny. You know, Vinny, we really appreciate this, but... Hello? Nora! Please! 
Welcome to Vinny's. What are you drinking this evening? Greetings. I was hoping you had a room available. Only one, but it's sort of a wreck. Has a few holes in the upper corners. No range, no washer, no dryer. Has a working sink, though. Anywhere I can acquire food? Well, we serve some great dishes here. <laughs> but there is a diner at the center of town. I'll make the best of it. He's the key. Room's upstairs. That'll be 30 caps. Any chance you can run 20? 25. What brings you to this corner of the world? I'm just here for work. Businessman? <laughs> what kind of work do you do? Well, that depends on who you ask. If you ask previous clients, they'll say paranormal investigating or a ghost hunter. But if you ask the skeptics, they'll say I'm a fraud. Well, uh, well what, do you, what do you call it then? Well, me? I just like to call it being me. Lee Lawson. Why, hello there. I didn't know I was going to have a roommate. <laughs> well, you really don't have to mind me. I just need a place to do some quiet work and to crash for the night, so you barely notice me. <sighs> Why am I talking to a mannequin? are just a few of many commandments that I know you are all guilty of breaking. All of you have forgotten what it means to be human, caring more for your possessions than for each other. And when you all stand before the judgment of God, only then will you learn your sins have consequences. Only then will you Excuse me, ma'am, but what's going on here? Father O'Haran is on another Sunday one of his rants. His son pretended to be the new word of Jesus Christ. Idols. Since then, every oh, little crime committed in the town he blows his lid and shuns us for an hour. Is he always so belittling? Last week, he almost executed a guy for forgetting to pay his tab at the diner. I'm Deidre, by the way. Lee Laws. How many times have any of you even picked up the Holy Bible? And how many times have you, Father? Well... If it isn't the infamous Lee Lawson, I'll have you know, a priest of the Catholic Church is required to have this book memorized inside and out. I imagine that is something you wouldn't know. You may be right, however. You would recall a specific passage known as John 3.16. For God so loved the earth, he gave his one and only son. You seem to forget that the Son of God died on the cross for all of our sins. Why would God allow that to happen? Why don't you inform us? The Lord gave us the ability of free will for a reason. Knowing that all of us are imperfect. That we make mistakes sometimes. But from those mistakes is where the lesson lives. With that in mind, ask yourself. Are you going to teach these people about God's angry wrath? or about his forgiving love. Religion isn't an opportunity for you to belittle people because you're insecure about something with your own life. And if you think it is, then tell me, Father, who will be the one to belittle you for all of your sins? Or are you one of those perfect Christians that don't exist? Ladies and gentlemen of Sanctuary Hills, this man was removed from the Catholic Church for his unorthodox views on religion. 
His own father made it so he can never find work as a priest again. Let him into this town if you must, but know this. I will not be there to save you when this heretic brings Satan into your homes. You have a very interesting outlook on the topic, Mr. Lawson. Not everyone agrees. I apologize if I came off as too preachy. Hey, you're not the only one. Just about everyone in this town has something they don't like about Father Heron. You were saying something about some sort of false idol or something. What exactly happened? It's a long story. Tell you what, why don't you come by the greenhouse for a bit? I'll fill you in on everything then. I would love to. See you around, Lee. Hey, uh, excuse me. You're the ghost hunter guy, right? Sinners, all of them. Who do they think they are, standing out there mocking me? One after another, they violate not only the Ten Commandments, but the laws of this town. They fail to see me as the example I perfectly portray. I'm the one that lost my family, and all the sympathy goes to that widowed witch and her demon-spawned child. Kill them. Now Lawson, what is he even doing here? Greedy for your power. Who is that? Just my way of saying I love you. I'm always walking after midnight, searching for you. You have a beautiful singing voice. Thank you. It's very nostalgic for me. Oh, look to your left. Those are for you. Welcome to Sanctuary Hills, Lee Lawson. Why, thank you. I appreciate the gift, but I have to ask. How does everyone know me here? Well, you're popular here, Lee. A few years ago, there was a writer that moved into town, God rest his soul. He used to write for the Concord newspaper. If I am not mistaken, he did a lovely little piece on you. Shame to hear. I would have loved to meet him. He was a very good person. This one time, a horde of mole rats tore my garden to shreds, almost terminated my business. And as determined as I was, I began working on the building we stand in now. And he was courteous enough to bring his family to help me build it. So you opened this place? Sure did. 
This here is my little piece of heaven. <laughs> <laughs> you do have quite the green thumb. Thank you. Would you like some tea? Oh, yes, please. So, what exactly is the story with Father O'Hare? Father O'Hare. Where do I begin? As far as I know, he lost his wife before moving here with his son, Mason. Not quite sure how she died, but I think he just never really recovered from that loss. Mason was nothing more than a boy at the time, and we had no leader, so Father O'Hare took up that role. As Mason grew up, he never really got the attention a child needs, so as an adult, he was constantly seeking praise. He tried to turn all of us against his father and almost succeeded. What did he do? To put it simply, he was making himself seem like the savior of this land, being here to fix everybody's problems. Sounds great, right? It was at first, but he started to take credit for things others had done. Not only that, some say they caught him poisoning the water supply so he could administer the antidote, but he disappeared before any evidence was turned up on that. I feel for the guy. I know we all handle grief differently, but this isn't healthy. He used to be very supportive of others, but something just burned him out. I think he just forgot what it means to be a man of religion. And what does that mean to you? It means loving thy neighbor. Even though they may have conflicting opinions, at the end of the day, we're all human. The world needs more people like you, Lee Lawson. Me? No. There's nothing special about me. People just need more good in their lives. More hope. Well, Deidre, thank you very much for the tea, the gift, and the information. But I'd best be on my way. Hitting the road again. I think I'll stay in town for a bit. Until next time, man. Take care now. Oh! One last question. What was the name of that author? The one that wrote the article about you? That would be... Dayton Bates. I'm heading out for groceries, Damon. Anything you want? No thanks, I'm good. All right, I'll be back in about a half hour. Mom?
October 14th, case number 23, log 7. Four months, three weeks, and five days after the grinder incident. I have arrived in the small town of Sanctuary Hills. It's a rather quiet and sleepy town with an abundance of the interesting characters, along with no luck of finding Aaron Grinder. I recall a sighting of a woman dressed in red that seemed rather suspicious, which I will have to take a look into while I'm here. Most importantly, I feel Father O'Hare, the priest and apparently mayor, has lost his way. An unruly priest who also has the power of the law could be a dangerous force to reckon with. I think if there's anyone who may need help here, it's him. But something in this town just seems to be off. I can't seem to put my finger on it, but I feel as if something more sinister is present here. This is Lee Lawson, signing off. <laughs> Please forgive me, Lord, for I have sinned.